Ready? Yeah. Yeah, go. Yeah. So, right, hi everybody. Um, we're deep in the woods tonight. We've started our other mini series, which is looking for the eight foot critter. We call it a critter around this side of Winter Hill. You go to the other side of Winter Hill, the Preston side, the Chorley side, they call it the Dogman over there. Well, it is the same thing that's being seen. So, it's been seen in Burstall Woods, um, Top Holes. Um, Belmont area and on that side people are referring to it as a dog man. They say it's about eight foot tall because I'm just part of human, part dog. So it's a kind of like a real one. If you come over this side, the Bolton side, <laughs> we call it more the critter over here. So if you come over to like Waterfold, Smithers Woods, uh, Barrow Bridge, that area, Scout Road, we, we tend to refer to it as the critter, but it is the same thing that's being seen. So, we weren't going to do this at first because I was like really sceptical about it but okay. so many people are looking for this now. You've got like cryptozoologists, you've got really credible YouTubers that have been doing this for like seven years or more. You've got, um, you know, Winter Hill Investigations who do everything, not, you know, all kinds of stuff connected with this area. So I think we're going to join forces now with the rest <laughs> of them and we're all on a quest to find the same thing. So we're going to take a walk up through the woods to an area where there's a lot of drainage tunnels um, uh, because this thing has been attracted to tunnels and we have a lot of tunnels around here like the, under the bridges and what have you but the water's running very thick it's like the rapids today so we're not going to go through the stream we're going to go through the tunnels no, it stream, but it is like the rapids at the so we're going to walk up to the derelict garden centre there's some large drainage tunnels up there anyway this thing apparently when it gets seen tends to shelter in drainage tunnels and since it's like really heavy rain tonight and we'll have a little discussion on lycanthropy and what you Ooh. think and what everybody thinks about werewolves oh, what know. do you think about Andy about all this uh, werewolf stuff there must be something in it to be frankly honest with you yeah because are these people credible people have seen things and where did the legends come from? There's obviously something in it. You know, um, who knows? I think, to be honest with you, I'd have to be real, real evidence for myself to talk like. But, saying that, there's too many people who've seen things, there's too many documented things, and there's obviously something there, so... We'll have a go and see what we can yeah, do. Yeah, I think the fact that we're getting like cryptozoologists you now taking a look at this makes it a bit more like real. Yeah. I think if you've got just YouTubers, you know, having a laugh and going out filming and doing stories like Bigfoot, that's different. But when you've got professional people getting involved, like a science, scientifically studying it, then that's a whole, that takes on a whole different meaning, doesn't it? It's a whole different ballgame. So we're going to uh, we'll walk up through the woods to that drainage tunnel area. Yeah. And stick your torch, head torch on Andy because you're going to need it up here. It's dark. Uh, I'll film as best I can for you guys. We've got some pretty good lighting, so we'll do our best with the lighting for you. Yeah, I mean, it's... Uh, some people have been driving to work in the morning, you know, and have claimed to have seen this uh, cryptoid-type dog man thing going through fields and uh, you know even people like dentists uh, you know and doctors actually witnessing this thing and actually claiming to have seen it so 
That makes it a bit more credible for me when you get people like that coming forward. Are you going to play your wolf holes on the farm? And let's see if we can attract if there is anything here. It might get drawn to that, might it? Because while I'm just sorting the wolf holes out, uh, I'll just quickly talk to you guys about um, yeah, uh, the full moon and stuff like that, where that all comes from. You know, the uh, the werewolf that changing on the full moon and all that. The, the word lunatic comes from the word lunar, which is moon. And back in the days of Bedlam Hospital in London, the lunatics in there used to seem to act up and go really strange and violent to what on a full moon and rattle the cages and all that and be all shouting and kicking off at once. And scientists believe that the moon, it controls the tides of the ocean. The moon could possibly control the fluid on the brain, so let go one side and then the other side. And they believe that's why people, lunatics, governed by the lunar moon, used to kick off on full moons. And I think a bit of the werewolf stuff is derived from that being like the full moon when the wolfman comes forward and stuff. But this critter, I mean, is it alien? Is it a creature that we've missed? Is it something that aliens have deposited here and left to see if it can survive this earth? And you know, they're monitoring it. With that. Is that why we're getting UFO discs over Winter Hill? All these are questions we, we don't know the answers to, so we're going to go on a quest with the rest of the YouTubers. There's quite a lot of other people out and about doing this, guys, at the minute. Some real credible YouTubers. Um, Exploring with Fighters, Dan Dixon, and Carl, Dark Arts. Uh, they're all out there doing this, so uh, we're going to join forces. And Andy's going to play his wolf owls. Okay, so we'll walk up and then when we get the wolf howls, we'll stop and play the wolf howls. So obviously we're in a thick forest, guys. Um, I'm going to do the best I can with the lighted for you. It's obviously, we're going uphill. Uh, we're on the lower levels of Winter Hill, uh, heading towards Scout Road, Walker Fold, which you can Google the map and see the location of where we are. Um, not far from Smiddles Dean Road. Um, so all this area is thick forest. So you get deer, obviously, you know, the usual animals. These are wolf owls. And the wolf's howling at the moon. Okay, let's let that run for a bit. what do you do you can't exactly ask for a critter to come forward you know when you're doing paranormal and you say can you get spirit people to come forward you can't just do that with critters and aliens can you would you like to come forward and show yourself because they either will or they won't but we'll go to the garden center the derelicts because there's some old drainage tunnels there and i really believe that they will shelter in such places and with there being a farm close by they're probably attracted to the animal sense as well and everything so if we see anything unusual or hear any rustling or any growling or any other unusual sounds bearing in mind I'm just playing the wolf howls on his phone as we walk up if these things have super sensitive hearing you just go left here Andy that goes into the old garden centre yeah there's some chopped logs here and everything so perhaps you know they, they might come around these places That's good. That sounds really good, actually. So we'll just keep an eye out, and then if we hear anything, you know, it, it could be deer. So bear that in mind. We've got deer in these parts. There's no owls out tonight because it's raining. They never no. come out in the rain, do they? Night. Yeah. See, I've heard of other people that when the critter or the dogman is about, the owls seem to disappear, they don't hoot. It's like you can have them all hooting and then they all suddenly go quiet as though they know that there's something different there. 
Yeah, I've got to remember sometimes when I'm shining and getting bits like look like eyes. They're not eyes, they're raindrops. Yeah, there is, yeah, there will be raindrops reflecting back. Do you know what? There's a wall. Could you hear something? Really? There's a bird squawking. I can hear birds squawking there. Ducks, maybe. There is actually a wall over there. We could actually set the lighting up on that wall and just observe if you want. The tunnels are back there. You know the ones that they... Uh, I think what they did was they built drainage and then left the spur tunnels down here. Yeah. So let's go down to some spur tunnels. This used to be the garden centre, guys. Right, it's been long gone out of use. At least uh, the 20 to 30 years it's mm. not been a garden centre now. Yeah, set our lighting up on this wall. And then we can get to uh, we'll look around in it. See what's going on here. I'll just put my torch. That's that, that'll do. Alright, let's have a quick look around, guys. So there's a bit of a derelict garden centre at the back there. And there's some old tunnels further down there where um, they, they just got left after they'd done the drainage around here. But to be fair, they do say that these critters are dogmen are attracted to those tunnels so they can go in and shelter. In the, often probably from the snow and the frost and stuff, it would make sense, wouldn't it? No, it seems stupid, but obviously... I mean, some people have said... It's been this whole region, Andy. There's people, witnesses from all over the Winter Hill region have been coming forward now. So a lot of people have... A lot of people have connected them with aliens. Yeah. And they don't know whether they're... Ah, like so Bigfoot has as well, I don't know. Yeah, so, I mean... Since um, Expedition Bigfoot have been out and about, uh, the lady who's like a doctor, a scientist, she's a cryptozoologist, but she's also, um, she's the highest level you can get in. She, and she yeah. was filming a Bigfoot on, on, on thermal imaging camera and it went behind a tree and it didn't come out the other side, but an orb came out the other side. So you think, she thinks as it turned itself into an orb and she, that's why the, you can't see them because they can disappear. You see, that's what I'm, I'm thinking. If these things are aliens, if we try this, then they might be able to talk to us. You see, you could try this it. Is, this is the thing: are they a crossover? See, are, I, I'm are, in two are, minds. Are they a crossover, or are they experiments that have been let loose? Well, I don't know rare, yeah. if they're not human experiments that have been let loose, like the Montauk oh, monster. Yeah, yeah. You know, Long Island, that laboratory that's on that island facing where they've been messing with DNA, yeah. mixing cross-breeding animals and all that. It, what if they've been doing it in secret laboratories up and down the country? And, um, you know, and maybe it's something that we've done, or have aliens left it here to see if it can thrive? See, that, that's the point. If they've let them out, and for some reason they've bred, you don't know what sort of thing. I mean, they're not going to tell you this, are they? No. They're not going to tell you. And well... I'm, I'm more of a belief now that it is either our own experiments gone wrong or alien experiments gone wrong and maybe they put them on here just would they survive how they would survive there's a lot of weird things being seen around the world you know this is even just in these parts Lancashire I mean it's like that guy who filmed uh, an alien in his backyard in Lytham St Anne's at Blackpool and he was just putting the bins out and he just saw this yeah. it had a green face and it yeah. was like a three foot creature, weren't it? And he. I mean, I, I, but there's birds at the back yeah, there, can you hear them? Yeah. Yeah, I mean. It's, it's a weird one. I mean, with paranormal, you know where to start, you know where to go, you know where you're going, you, you know what I mean? Yeah. What, I, what's haunted and what's not. You, don't, you get unexpected, but with this, it's. How do you go. How do you actually go about it? This is creature, isn't it? Yeah, it but this is creature on, on the earth. I mean, aliens, they kind of like fly yeah, across or, you know, but these are actually living amongst us by all accounts. And there's been some good accounts, guys. There's been some... If you if you Google um, Winter Hill Investigations team and you Google um, 
uh, critter. They'll give you all the different interviews that they've done with local people, you know, professional people, people of sound mind and, you know, that have had these sightings, that, and dog walkers that have had these sightings at different parts of the day and night even. Witchcraft. Witchcraft. <laughs> Seriously. That, that, no, no, that, that, yeah, that's a Go on. What's your thoughts now? Obviously, this is this could be some help, but yeah, that figures. It's a big open area. It's easy access. It's away from people. It's easy access. To wood. Probably has been witchcraft. I think there's been witchcraft in all these parts I, because I, you've I, got I, Winter I, Hill. I mean, probably. And then yeah. beyond that, you've got Pendle Hill. So it's all the whole area, isn't it? Anniversary. Witchcraft anniversary. Maybe the critter's got his 21st or something. Yeah, we're interrupting the, the, uh, the annual critter party. You never know. I'm just gonna, there's bulbs in the back, guys. That's coming from street lights and stuff. So Elijah. that's not orbs or... Elijah. That's an old name. Now, that might be connected to when this was a garden like centre. Not me. No, I haven't no. moved. No, Why did you hear something? You know what we should have done really, but you can't really get a fire pit lighted in this. We were going to cook some um, meat out here, weren't we? Sausages and that to try and entice it. We were going to do that last night, weren't we? But we got rained off, so we couldn't do it. As soon as we get a clear night, guys, we're going to get out here with the fire pit and make some sausages and some steaks. And even though Andy's vegetarian, <laughs> we're going to cook it just for the critter to get him, you know, get that to come forward. And them are old names, aren't they? But this was the garden centre. I mean, when did the, would the garden centre have been open? Would the art garden centre have been open? Well, before the garden centre, yes, this used to be long... This was all connected to Smithles Hall's land, so they possibly yeah. might have worked for the hall because they would have had a lot of staff. And we're going into the hall, guys, in March. We've got access now, so we're going yeah, to be going yeah. doing an overnight in there. Next March, 2024. Yeah. yeah. We've got stuck with that bloke we did last time. Oh, we always get stuck with some pillock, you know it goes. We had him who was all night looking for his mother. Yeah, we did. I mean, no disrespect for that. And then we had, we got stuck with the guy at the end, didn't we, when we were going home. Yeah, he was giving so out his paranormal morning, cards, like, weren't eyes, he? Eyes, eyes, eyes are closed and he wants to give us a Giving his cards out, his, uh, his, his Facebook and his email and his, his chasing ghost address. It's like, we're, mate, we're all out chasing ghosts. You're not doing anything different, you know, we're all, we're all out oh, chasing ghosts. I'm just thinking. <laughs> you know, if, come on, what are you doing that's different? I, I'm just thinking if it's the critter party. The critter party? They're not going to take it that I'm part of it, Anna. Yeah, maybe. I could come as the uh, goat. You could, yeah, you could. Yeah, you come, could. Uh, Great Uncle Billy. Sacrificial goat. Great Uncle Billy, though. <laughs> so, shall we have a little walk over to the uh, drainage tunnels? I'll just pick up the lighting. I mean, it's not even it's not even worth putting EMF meters out for this tonight, is it? Because that just picks up the spiritual, you know, magnetic fields and uh, you know that kind of thing. So unless this thing can just materialise and my death is horrible. My death is horrible. Who's death? We're not doing paranormal tonight, but you can come forward if you want to. What's your name? Tell us a bit more. We're actually looking for the critter tonight. You know, we weren't actually. Um, but if you want to come along, watch us have about seven ghosts following us now. And like, you can never find them, can you? And now you start doing critter stuff and UFO stuff. They're all there, aren't they? They all want a bit of it, don't they? See, this is what I was saying. You do the critter stuff, you get ghosts. You do the ghost stuff, you get UFOs. So if we do the UFOs, we're probably going to get critters. There's one of the drainage tunnels over there. There's quite no, a few. I won't. No, I won't. <laughs> How do you know? How do you know? This is an intelligent spirit, this, since I've tried to have a conversation with them. There's a drainage tunnel there. Uh, it's just, uh, there were quite a few dotted around at one time. And they have said that these critters tend to be attracted to tunnels such as these. Um, because it's shelter, obviously, they can go in there. And I've got a picture of you somewhere in the drain. Yeah, that was at Tockholes, that drainage tunnel. But them are the kinds of drainage tunnels we need to be checking out. You know, just for animal droppings or anything like that. Footprints. Or footprints because oh, if they've got a shelter. Traps here. Traps here. Is this a spirit that's trying to get out? Maybe they've not had the chance to talk to anybody else. Yeah. You traps here? Why? Why can't you leave? 
Why can't you leave? I'm buckling with the torches here, just let me. That's that. Mm. Leave it there, I've got it straight now. Oh, you should. There's mud everywhere. But we've got Yeah. Why are you trapped here? What's keeping you here? You can tell us we're not here to disrespect you or harm you or anything like that. I'm just going to talk to you. That's all. Just want to talk to you. This mud's really deep here, isn't it? Should we go back up there? I mean, we could go up this side here, because this leads up to like where the deer are and stuff. If you want to go up here, because this is going higher up, in it. Let's go up this path here. I think there's some trees that have fell over, so we'll set up there with some lighting and then... Why are you trapped here? What's keeping you Lighting, here? not very, really, really. Go walk ahead, then I've got more lighting. Sitting tall. Where? There's some more tree trunks further up. Some oh. really big ones that you can sit on and everything. They came down in the storm. Okay. This might be a good to... place to rest our lighting and stuff when we can see. Talk about? See, all this would have belonged to Smithle, to Ainsworth at Smithle, so it might be staff that used to work for them that's okay. coming through now. That was me, that was a twig. Ask them if I've seen a critter in these parts. Have you seen a critter in these parts? He will touch me. What, the critter? I've heard it pinches cameras out of people's hands. If he is, will you let me know before that? Please. Please make this again. Why is it all you? Such a delicate soul, Andy, and they like to stroke your beard. <coughs> yeah, it's some. Oh, I think it's further up the trees. Unless they've moved them though. They all fell down in a storm, blocked the path. But you get a lot of uh, horse riders up here, so perhaps they've Who shifted them. We'll have a walk up anyway because we're in critter territory now. Did you get any uh, strong smells? Remember, that's what they look for in Bigfoot, isn't it? I'm not saying it's Bigfoot because I don't think we're going to get that in England, but this dogman thing, yeah. it's been seen in Cannock Chase as well down at Stafford, so it seems to be like throughout the forest areas of the country, to be honest. It isn't just northwest. I think what it is in the northwest now, we've got quite a few groups that are out, you know, intent on finding this thing. Look <coughs> at this. <coughs> oh my god. It's an old brick building here. Let's just uh, rest our torches here and stuff. Get some light in, properly set up. And then we can show you guys where we're at and what have you. God, it's so slippy tonight, I can't tell you. Literally everywhere you put your foot, there's mud. Hard getting your balance in it under. I can't even call out for critters, I was just going to say, are there any critters? But you can't do that with these, because they're creatures, aren't they? It's a different thing. Who are you? Is this person still talking to you? Ask them about the critter. Tell them why we're here, they might be able to help us out a bit. you know anything about the critter? We're right at the back of the garden centre here. I think I've got some drops of rain on my camera, I'm just going to wipe that off, guys. Okay. Who are you? I know you said you were in your thirties. What year? What year did you pass away? And why are you trapped? Tonight. What about tonight? 
Are we going to see the critter tonight? Is he going to come forward? Is he going to come down these parts? It's raining, so we're thinking he's going to come to lower ground where the tunnels are. I mean, you won't be on the top of Winter Hill right now in all this, would you? You'd go for shelter, so I think they're going to go into the forests and the, under the bridges and in the tunnels or into thick trees where they can hide. And that's why on the nights you like these. When you play the wolf hells again, Andy. If there's any spirit people here, would you like to help us with this critter investigation, please? Lead us to the right area where he might be. Yeah. You help us. And he's going to play the wolf holes again, guys, and then let's just see if something reacts, responds to it. There's still fireworks going off. It's like two weeks after bonfire night and we're still doing fireworks around here. Just shows you what we thought, doesn't it, of Guy Fawkes? Just shows you what we think of the Houses of the Parliament in Lancashire, doesn't it, guys? We're still celebrating Guy Fawkes night after two weeks. Have you seen something? There's a lot of like masonry falling about there, like a building was there or something just now. <coughs> so like anthropy, do you think it comes from this country or do you think it originates in Europe? I think it's more than Europe than Europe. Think so. It's more than Europe Well it's like the vampire thing, isn't it? In Europe. They've excavated some cemeteries now, and they've actually found corpses with stakes, uh, you know, like put through the heart area, and garlic cloves around the coffin and stuff, as though they really, really, really treated that seriously back in the day. And for me, there has to be a reason why people believe in this stuff. It all starts from somewhere, so where does it come from? Is it people that have been bitten by rabid dogs and they can turn into part dog in on the full moon because of the, as we were talking about earlier on, the fluid on the brain? Doctors at Bedlam Hospital in London believed that the lunatics were affected by the, the full moon. The full moon, you know, creates the tidal waves to come in and out. Can it affect the fluid on the brain to go from one side to the other, thus making them, you know, like insane and acting up and things like that? That's one of the things that... Okay, so let's go a little further on then and just keep walking about in it and picking different little random spots to try it out. And well, we'll just keep going, guys. We'll do like everything else that we do. We'll do the paranormal. We're going to be doing some abandoned buildings um, pretty soon. We're just waiting for... Um, uh, we've got the rest of our urban legends to complete first. As soon as we've done that, then we're free to do abandoned. And the UFO stuff we're going to do on a clear night when we can get a good view of the sky. Uh, this will do for any, any weathers really because Critter, if it exists, will be out 24-7. You know, it won't just come in the clear skies and be seen then and it won't just come to haunted houses when you're doing seances. This will be here literally because it's Creature. Any weathers? Any time? So yeah, let's go up that way. I think when uh, we've got bad weather like this, yeah, and it's yeah, it's just a path. It goes up to um, what I call the gamekeeper's house. It was the gamekeeper's house for Smithles Hall. It goes back to 1777, and I think that's the person responsible 
for shooting the Scotsman on the uh, top of Winter Hill, which well, as soon as we get a clear night, we're up there to do that, guys. It's coming up pretty soon, before Christmas anyways. It's right up by the television mast, so we need to get a good night, you know, weather like for us to be able to do that, because otherwise the filming's going to be crap for you guys. They did spells. See, we've had that. So maybe there was witchcraft up in this area, though. See, I always heard it was Rivington where the witchcraft took place. I mean Pendle Hill obviously because that's the birthplace of witchcraft and it still goes on now because the descendants of those families still live there. But um, this area I thought Rivington was the place. Your torch has gone out. Is it the chargeable one? The battery one? What was that message that comes through then? What does it say? Rats? Yeah. Torture? Yeah. Rats. Well that might go with the witchcraft. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because back in those days, I mean even now unfortunately, some witches that do black practices do involve animals. It was on red, and now it's gone back up to Alright, that's a bit odd. Shouldn't do that. Normally it drops down in charge, that doesn't it? Yeah, um... Oh well. That was on red. Perhaps we just went through an area where... Well, maybe they did do witchcraft around here, I don't know. To be honest, I've never heard it, but... Not me say it's not took place just because your family haven't passed the story down. I mean, perhaps it took place and nobody knew. I know Rivington was a big place for it, where we were the other week on Bonfire Night, up at the top there near the Pigeon Tower. So it was rife at one time for witchcraft, satanic as well, witchcraft. Not just regular, like, uh, pagan stuff that we do. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Um, Rivington itself was a big black magic area back in the 1970s and 80s. Oops. Boots. Got somebody stuffed with spell books around here. We need to find them. So we might as well walk up to the uh, gamekeeper's house because we've got enough battery to finish off there uh, then. And it's all woods all the way up anyway. We're part way up, getting close to Scout Road now, which is like the halfway mark up the side of Winter Hill. From this side, anyways. It's probably attractive because of the witchcraft symbols and stuff. Well, we did the witchcraft thing last week, didn't we? Yeah, we did. We've also had another Bible puncher on, guys. Yeah. They make me laugh so much, though. She's tr she's planning to come over and save our souls. So oh, I've like no idea, but this is the plan she has in mind for us. <laughs> we're family. What? Said, Are you okay with us? Are you okay with us? We said we're family. Maybe we've got a spirit of a witch here. It's not our Pendle witches, is it? Your spirit guides. Are you can is so it Elizabeth Southern? Yes no, has four spirit guides from Pendle. Yes, yes. I think I explained it to you last week when we were doing the uh, Rivington Pond. Oh, that's nice, you after us? Four Pendle witches that follow us around everywhere we go, you know, just keeping us safe. They've done that all up for Christmas already, Luke. That's lovely, isn't it? Well, somebody's bought it now. Used to belong to an old lady on her own who used to hire it out there, get students, yeah. to, uh, you know, like exchange students to stay there. What a family have bought it now. Not sure if it's not connected to the farm, to be honest. That's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. In darkness. Well, he probably would look in darkness, to be fair. Because he ain't going to get seen, is he, if he's in the dark? It's like Bigfoot. The only problem is, if he's only going to come out in darkness, we need these lights. Yeah. So we can see him. So if we don't have the lights, then we're never going to know. I know that's so stupid, and I'm going on. Is this such the thing 
as a critter or a werewolf. Or a dogman. Or a dogman. Do you know, can you tell us if there is? Have you ever seen one? Have you ever known anybody who's become one? Leonard. Le what, Leonard? Leonard. 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 Also, that could be a spirit name, couldn't it? Yeah. Is Leonard somebody who turned into a pity? Or a werewolf? Or is Leonard one of the witches? Or is this somebody completely different? Did Leonard own the uh, is it gatekeeper's house? This is uh, this actually used to be a club for retired naval officers. Uh, but then a couple bought it. Hmm. He passed away and hmm. she carried on um, it rented it out to foreign exchange students that were coming right. over to Britain because my mum got talking to her one time out here with the dogs. Curse. When she passed away, uh, somebody else has bought it now and now this is they've decked it all out for Christmas. It looks beautiful that. Especially if it snows. We get a lot of heavy snow up here guys because we're quite quite high up. So if we get the snow, it'll be nice at night time, won't it? The thing is with snow you can see better. Yeah, it's better lighting all around isn't it? And you can also find footprints. If there's any foot critter footprints. Yeah. yeah. The snow's the best time, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's beautiful that, isn't it? So I know a family have got it now, so I don't think it's a farming family. Or whether a lot of people breed horses around here, yeah. you know, and do horse riding lessons, so perhaps the, that's the thing. But they've called this place, I'll fill the sign when we get up the Tippet House, which used to be the name of the abandoned cottage yeah. we did in the so Middleswoods we'll Part 2. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. That was the original Tippet House, that was the name of that place. But these have now called this the Tippet House. So I just Obviously, in all the area, I think they're probably related to all these farmers that live yeah. up here and have all these farmland. It's a tippet house, guys. I just feel like I don't want to get shouted at them. But that, the original tippet house was that little place that we investigated uh, six months ago when we first started the channel on the uh, Smithles Forest part two, I think. The derelict cottage. Yeah, yeah. That, that was the tippet house. That's what it was called then. It is very much because it's all overgrown. There's yeah, like, uh, it's only down there. We've yeah. walked by it actually, the other side of it. Well, where we came up, I came from a dark place. Where we came up, we came up. There's two paths. One goes past that derelict cottage, and the other goes up this way. We would have gone the other path. We would have gone right past it. But we want to finish the video up here because we can show you the 1777 gamekeeper's house which is derelict at the minute but it's secured so you can't actually get in it because Bolton Council on it. You, it's a listed building so it's very secure though so we can't go in. So you're in a better place now. But this building we're coming up to was the gamekeeper's house who worked for Smithles. This was all their Listen land. I'm listening. Go on. So, you said you came from a dark place. Are you in a better place now? This is the witch again, do you think? It's all the same person. Are you, are you the person we were talking to before? Can we, can you know? Do you come from, if, if you're the witch, do you come from a, you like me? Hereditary, like you've got all the all your family for witches. You know, you said you wanted to sit and start, you told me to listen to me, so yeah, chat away. I'm quite happy for you to chat away. It's great. I don't know who you are, but you like. 
What happened to you when you were alive? Someone's coming. Someone's coming. I'll be interested to see there is someone walking up this path, will not it? I mean, we say she's been going to talk about so. Yeah. Right out in the open now on the side of the woods, it will come out of the woods. Well, the gamekeeper's house is uh, right at the end of this line. Yeah. There's a car coming up. I'm sure there's a car coming up. Oh no, it's going up with the Swiddlesey Road. It's going up there. I was going to say, she said someone's coming and there's a car coming up. That would have been really funny, wouldn't it? But it might be a ghost person. Which we're not actually looking for ghosts today. We're out in this, these flipping conditions to find uh, the English Bigfoot, the critter. Some of these puddles, if you put it, you put in and you don't know how deep they go, do you? <laughs> it's true, isn't it? <laughs> you put your foot in and then you go down to your knee. Lake up here, guys, look at it. Pitch black, raining. The rain is sweeping across there because of the wind. We were up at Markham Hedge and last night. We nearly got blown off the tops up there, didn't we? Anybody who watches that episode, if you want to laugh. We was uh, seriously battling with the, uh, the voices, weren't we, last night? But not the uh, spirit ones, <laughs> just the normal ones. Battery? Yeah, the battery's probably going to go on. Yeah, We've the got five minutes of this left. I don't want to get to the is game. Keep you? his house before we run out. Is that you? Oh guys, just quickly with the gamekeeper. Because you turned it off, and you were not, and then you let it and it went back to normal. So was that you? Are so they playing with your equipment, do you think? Because ghosts tend to do, don't well, they? It went down to red, basically. Yeah. Maybe she drained your energy a bit. Because it was on a stronger wire. She might have needed to drain and it for energy. It. Or he. Just because it's a woman's voice doesn't mean it's a woman, oh, does it? Maybe she thinks we're getting aggressive because we're I'm heatedly well, talking. Uh, no way aggressive. Andy's not. He's the most passive I'm person not, you'll ever meet. And you find that, I find all men that look like Vikings are the softest, sweetest people you could ever meet. I think every single guy I've met or know of rockers and that, yeah, that look like Vikings are the nicest people you could ever meet. It's just not... And most of them are vegetarians and vegans as well. Maybe some spirits has followed us up. It's literally pitch black here now. There's nothing to film at all, unless you come on the camera and I can film you. Like twigs cracking. What, you could hear that? Yeah. Oh my, no, I've got wellies on tonight. I mean, you did say someone's coming, which... You don't know which way from. That way. You can hear the road now anyway, you can hear the cars. Oh, yeah. It's like cracking. Yeah. So we've been all through that part of the woods anyway. And uh, so next... Oh God, see what I mean about these puddles? You put your foot in and you go three feet down. Potholes, that's why. Who's coming? Potholes filled with water. Yeah, Belton Council, if anyone's watching this. We'll get these living potholes sorted out. I'd lose a leg up here. <clears throat> yeah, but we're coming to the gamekeeper's cottage. And he's the guy that, well, I think he's the guy that shot the Scotsman on the moors because. The balls moors belong to Ainsworth family from Smithles Hall, where we went the other week. So it's going to be, this is the gamekeeper's cottage really? coming up. The gamekeeper's house. Now this guy, who lived here, which, do you remember that time we went up at summer solstice? Oh yeah. And we did some sort of ritual and we felt we, we felt his presence there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he, I think, yeah, yeah. is the guy that shot the Scotsman on the tops. The Scotsman stump, which we're going to be going up there soon. This was where he lived. This house here. Can you just get some lighting on this handy, please, for me? Can you bring your torches over here? 
I need some lighting. This. Before the battery runs out. Right, this was the gamekeeper's cottage, guys. See the security lights on it now. So this was where he used to live, the guy who was in charge of uh, the, the land around here for Smiggles Hall, yeah. protecting it and everything. Now this guy would have gone over the moors with a gun. So what do you think? The local feeling is that he's uh, seen this guy crossing the moors and took a pot shot and killed him. And I think this is going to be a good place for us to end the video. So we've done. God, we're full of rain. Look at us. Have you ever seen us? Look, it's all rainy and so wet. I'll tell you what, shall I clean? There we go. Oh, you can see us. Is that good? Tell you how the head torch off. No one can see you. Maybe that's a good idea. Right. <laughs> so, are you looking? So we're going to say good night and uh, we'll see you next week. So we'll, if it's nice tonight, we'll be doing UFOs. If it's like this, we'll be doing critters. And there'll definitely be some more paranormal oh, coming. Yeah. So, we'll see you guys next week. Bye.